Whoever says veggies can't be delicious, well, you are wrong. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. You're with Nicole and if you're new here, I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today, we are going to be making one of your absolute favorite recipes. This is zucchini slice. Now, I have to tell you a funny story. I have a zucchini slice recipe up on my channel and up on my website and you guys absolutely love it. It's by far the most downloaded and most watched video recipe that I have. And that's really surprising to me because I kind of thought maybe some of the sweeter recipes or videos uh, would be your favorite, but it's zucchini slice. I guess it just makes a really nice lunchtime or dinner meal. It just slides down super easily. It's healthy as well. And you can also make it to have throughout the week. This one is a little bit different though to my original recipe. You are gonna wanna know it. It's still absolutely delicious. This one is vegetarian. We've got some additional veggies that we're gonna throw in. It's nice and colorful. And as I said, super healthy. I'm gonna take you through the ingredients and let's get to it. Okay, so we have some egg here, we have some olive oil, we've got some tasty grated cheese, I've got some all-purpose self-raising flour, and then over here I've got some sweet potato, some carrot, and some zucchini, all grated. You can also add in a little bit of onion and garlic if you are so inclined, and then we're just gonna sprinkle it with some Italian herbs and some salt and pepper at the end. As always, I will leave all of the ingredients in the description box below for you and for the full recipe to download and print for free, make sure you head to lebonbaker.com. Go ahead and preheat your oven. I've got mine on 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll also need to find yourself a square or rectangular baking tin. And I've just given mine a little bit of a spray with some olive, uh, with some oil and then lined it with some parchment paper. And it's just going to make the zucchini slice easier to lift out at the end. Now, you'll also need a mixing bowl. And I have this beautiful one here that was a gift from my lovely sister for my birthday. So I'm super excited to use that today. Now this recipe comes together in no time at all. We're going to have this in the oven very soon. The longest part of this recipe is honestly just grating your veggies, which I have already done. Okay, so grab your eggs and your olive oil, put it in your mixing bowl, and we're just going to give that a whisk. Awesome, this looks great, it's all nice and smooth and I can smell that olive oil, it smells so delicious. Now you can use any oil that you like, but I just find that the olive oil brings out the flavors the best with this recipe. Next up, you can add all of your veg into your bowl as well as the cheese. And we're just going to mix that all together so it's nice and evenly distributed. Looks great. And this one you'll see is probably a bit more orange than green. And I love this beautiful bright color coming through from the sweet potato and the carrot. So now we can fold in our flour here. And this is self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising flour, you can make your own with just all-purpose flour, some baking soda and some baking powder. So I'm just gonna fold this in until it just comes together and combines. Sometimes I think zucchini slice looks like a big giant zucchini fritter that you just normally put on, <laughs> put on the grill. Um, but this one we're gonna do in the oven and it'll go nice and fluffy for us. Awesome, this looks so good. This is ready to turn out into our baking tin. So I'm just gonna get ready, rid of this. One last thing before we do turn it out, I am just going to add a little bit of mixed herbs here and some salt and pepper. So just a little sprinkling to your liking. 
So I'm just going to give this one a last stir just to make sure all of those spices and the herbs there are mixed in and they look great. And with this one, you don't have to add salt and pepper at this point, but it really just does help to bring out all of the different flavors. And I mean, salt and pepper makes everything taste good. So you're gonna wanna add it. Okay, pour it out, get it in. We want this to go into the oven ASAP. So it's not the prettiest looking mixture, not yet anyway, but this is exactly how we want it to look. It almost looks a little bit like my carrot cake mixture and that cake, oh my God, is one of the best cakes ever. If you haven't had it yet, make sure you seriously make that recipe. So I'm just going to even this out now and spread it across the whole base of the tin so that it cooks nice and evenly. And right before this goes into the oven, we're going to give it one last little tap, just like this. And it's just gonna help that base kind of settle in its tin and make sure that it's nice and even. Now there's only one more thing to do and that is to give it a little sprinkle of cheese. And we're just going to lightly sprinkle it all over the top, just a little bit. It's gonna help it make, go nice and brown and look absolutely delicious as it's cooking. I recently heard that mozzarella cheese is the most popular cheese in America. I'm not sure if that's true. My American friends, please confirm with me because I'm actually really surprised by that. I thought maybe cheddar cheese would have been more popular. Um, what else have you got? You've also got like buffalo or parmesan or gouda. I don't know. Just that one kind of really surprised me. Okay, anyway, enough random facts. Now it's time to get this into the oven. We are going to check on our zucchini slice at approximately 20 minutes. We're going to give it a rotate and then we'll probably cook it for another 10 to 20 minutes depending on the size of your tin. So it really just depends on the cooking time. It will vary. So you're just gonna have to monitor yours as you go. I have just rotated my zucchini slice now and I'm gonna leave it in the oven for a little bit longer, probably another 10 to 15 minutes. We'll see how I go. And while we wait, I wanted to share with you all a nice inspirational quote. And I love to share mantras or inspiring quotes in the hope that it might connect with you in some way. The one that I have found today for you is, note to self before going to sleep every night, forgive everyone and sleep with a clean heart. A quote by Anonymous. Now that is a tough one, but I wanted to share that quote with you because it is a tough one to do, but it's really important because if you can't forgive others, then you're not gonna have clarity and you're gonna, it's gonna weigh you down. So if you can try and think about this quote and if there's something that's been bothering you, try and let it go. And now it's back to baking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 this looks delicious. Still do a little bump test. Make sure that it is all cooked through and you just literally place your fingers on the top, give it a little push and if it springs back, you know we are good. And this has cooked really nicely, so it's lovely and golden. The cheese is all melted through and it's just got little pops of that brown coming through. Looks absolutely delicious. I am going to let it cool for about five minutes and then it's gonna get in this belly. All right, I've been very patient. It's been cooling down. It's still nice and warm, but not piping hot. So now I'm just gonna take this out of it wrapper here and I'm just going to lift it up and over. Nice. And it's gonna spin it around. <laughs> spin it around for you. And just take away this parchment paper. Get rid of these ones first. And we just want this to slide off. Yum, oh, the smell is absolutely just divine and I'm really excited to eat this. And now here, you can see, if you are a family, you'd literally like eat this in one sitting. 
if you're a couple or a single, even though it looks like a lot, you will be surprised about how quickly you will get through this. As I said, it just slides down really easily and it's also a great breakfast as well. It's, it's full of egg and you've got those veggies. It's kind of like a fritter, like I said before. So it works really well for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So we have the lovely brown bottom and then we've got the little bit of a crispy top with that cheese and then the center is really nice, light and fluffy. So I'm just gonna cut off a little bit smaller part here. I'm gonna eat it all anyway, but just so I can get it in. <laughs> Yum, all right. I don't know if you can see, but it's steaming. Mm. Oh, so delicious. It's really weird. I actually crave this recipe whenever I am not feeling well or I just need a lot of veggies all in one hit. I always just crave it and there's probably, maybe you guys feel the same, maybe that's why you make it so often. It's just so delicious. The sweet potato in this honestly is really delicious. It just brings a different kind of flavor to it. And normally this is quite a plain style of dish. so. The sweet potato just adds that extra element and brings a little bit of sweetness to what is normally a very savory recipe. Whoever says veggies can't be delicious, well, you are wrong. When you are serving this, just add a little sprinkle of salt and pepper because there's so much flavor in this, it's really delicious and you do want those veggies to shine through. However, if you do want a little bit of something extra, you can add a dash of Worcestershire sauce or my husband loves tomato sauce or ketchup on his zucchini slice. Is anyone else into the whole tomato sauce thing? I don't get it, I like it as it is. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. I do have new videos coming out every single week. So if you do like this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well. Thanks again and I'll see you again next week. Don't forget to eat your veggies. Bye. Too much. <laughs> Too far. <laughs> I thought I'd give my like little end a bit more energy because some my last one was a bit weak. It's got to be a little bit more consistent with the rest of the intro. <laughs>